hovercraft invented and developed in Britain was being tried out this week in a military role. Success in its trials could revolutionise amphibious warfare. More precisely, it could revolutionise swamp warfare of the kind now being fought in Malaysia and Vietnam. This is the SRN-5, built on the Isle of Wight. It's been on trial for four months now in the creeks and rivers of eastern Borneo. It can travel up to 90 miles an hour, far faster than any landing craft. It can clear six-foot waves or solid obstructions up to four feet high. It carries 20 men or two tons of equipment, and its range is nearly 300 miles. It's cost 75,000 pounds. This country is an ideal testing ground, a labyrinth of mangrove thickets and mud flats, like a puzzle without a solution. The only life is amphibious, like the hovercraft itself. American army officers from Vietnam have been to Borneo to study it. The American government has bought five. Its capacity for high-speed pursuit and reconnaissance along canals and across paddy fields might make it the deciding factor against surprise attacks by the elusive Viet Cong. The trials are in the hands of a joint service team until it's decided if it should go to the Army, Navy or Air Force. In other words, whether it's a vehicle, a boat or an aircraft. To border villagers, it must look like some fire-breathing dragon from a James Bond thriller. Certainly, the strangest machine to enter their lives since President Sukarno first challenged Malaysia 21 months ago. When it stops, it flops with a rather ungainly curtsy onto its rubber skirt. It looks clumsy, a far-fetched answer to the war against the Viet Cong. But that's the sort of thing they said about the tank when it first appeared in war. The man in charge of the war against Sukarno in this area, a vital spot in the defence system for Malaysian Borneo, is a Gordon Highlander, Major John Simpson. His title, 